All right, here I've got a Dell P2714T touchscreen monitor. Uh, I've got it hooked up to a MacBook Air, uh, mid 2000 or 2012 model. Uh, I've got running on here a uh, smart notebook. Uh, I've got the displays mirrored right now currently. And uh, we've got a third party driver that we had installed. It's got a, uh, a trial version that I've installed on it. And I'll put more in the details a little bit later. But basically, if I wanted to look at writing on the surface here, very, very handy. The neat thing I like about this monitor is that you can lay it flat. And so on the back, there's a nice bevel here that you can uh, hopefully probably see that it's it's got a folding apparatus here to where it folds downward and I'll uh, grab that and one, once you uh, lay it flat it's kinda neat we'll just bend this out So on this table, what I've got, in addition to a messy desk, um, here we can have a teacher who can uh, very affordably use a smart board without using a smart board. Obviously you'd have to have a uh, licensed copy of the notebook software, but for the most part um, it looks like it's going to work pretty well. A little bit of glare on here, it's one thing I'm not really fond of. Um, to have to work with that in a classroom setup. But uh, what I think our district would look at the intention of is to dual project this. And we could easily uh, put a projector on the ceiling like any other typical classroom. And then uh, airplay from our device to an Apple TV um, or run uh, a dual HDMI output or a dual VGA output to this. This is hooked up via uh, VGA. It's hooked up to the USB port on my MacBook Air for the interactivity. Uh, you could also uh, hook it up through the uh, VGA port. And uh, what I've got on here is a typical Apple mini display port to VGA. So very exciting with the possibilities of this. Um, if I was to you know, look at a different classroom situation. Let's lay this split a little bit more. A lot of options on here. If I was to click on that, I can uh, resize it. Let's take a look at some of our objects. And can I pinch them? So we're going to. Now with a Dell, this normally works with a, a Windows based machine. It's made for 8, 8.1 uh, on the Windows side. But for the most part, I think you could probably, uh, and that's definitely meant for a multi-touch up to 10 points, I believe. Uh, I could certainly get by with one on this. I think most teachers typically would get by with one as well. So uh, once again, very interesting to see. Uh, love the possibilities. Price point on this, if you were to take the price of this plus the licensing of the software plus uh, cable runs and a projector, I think you'd run considerably less than what a smart board would cost. So, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.